Hi, David here, and you're probably wondering what's up with this channel. I'm doing all kinds of variety of stuff. And uh, the fact is, I do a lot of variety of stuff in my life. One thing in common is that I like to tinker. And once in a while, I like to pull out the cello and play some Bach. No, actually, uh, I'm not musical at all. I have a tin ear. I like to drink Bach. And uh, this is my grandson's cello and uh, someone decided to use it as a hammer and put a big hole in it. So uh, it came to me for repair. And the hole is right here. Now uh, someone put some tape over it so I'm going to have to uh, clean the residue off of there and uh, I need to see if it's a, a complete hole or if there's a chip in there. If it's a hole, I'm going to have to fill it, and uh, I was thinking of using wood filler, but I thought the wood filler might pop out, because in relation to the glossy finish of the wood, I'm afraid it may not hold. So, uh, but wood filler is an option. I might use the wood filler and then sand it to the level of the surface, and then paint it with a color to match the brown. I don't think it'll hold stain. The other option is I can... Uh, fill it with epoxy and uh, I could get a clear epoxy resin that sets in five minutes and use that. Uh, if I do that I probably there's there's no access to the inside of the cello. You can't get your hand in there. They got this little S thing there but uh, can't get anything in there so I might have to tie a string to a little piece of cardboard and hold the string out so I have some backing and then I could fill it with a filler or with epoxy, let that set, and then I could sand it down with the Dremel and uh, get a smooth surface. That's my thoughts anyway. I need to uh, clean this out and see what we've got. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting this tape off. This tape is just coming off in little tiny pieces. You guys that like to use tape for fixing stuff, just knock it off. Tape is for temporary use. It's not for long-term use. This probably would have been better off if you duct taped it. Now, uh, I'm no woodworking expert. I'm not a musician. I know nothing about fixing musical instruments, or any instruments for that matter. So, uh, don't do what I do. If you have an instrument that's worth more than $50, maybe you ought to take it to a professional and have it professionally repaired. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to peel this off, and uh, it's going to take me a while to get this tape off, and then I'm going to degrease it with some alcohol or um, maybe even acetone. Acetone's a good cleaner. Okay, I've got the tape off, and I could see it better, and we're in luck. There's not a total hole there. It's just this uh, uh, chip of wood is uh, indented, and uh, I'm going to use some uh, citrus cleaner, which is really good for removing tape residue. And uh, I'm not going to fill it because I'm afraid having loose pieces in there is going to create a harmonic imbalance or uh, something with harmony. I think it might vibrate. So uh, to dampen any harmonics, what I plan to do is I'm going to drill a hole right at the end of this chip. Here would be the hinge. This is where the break is. I'm going to drill a little hole about the size of this nail. I bent the nail. I'm going to stick the nail in the hole. And uh, I'm going to put epoxy around all the edges in there. And then I'm going to pull up on the nail in order to get this piece of veneer to bond with the surrounding body. And I think that will give it better strength and also uh, probably won't detract from the sound of the instrument. Uh, that's my thoughts anyway. Here's some uh, orange cleaner. This orange cleaner is pretty safe. It uh, doesn't usually affect finishes. I use it on my car when I get tar on the paint of the car. You know when they're doing road work and they're sling, uh, slinging tar all over the place. It's been good for that. And uh, I might shoot a little bit of uh, acetone around the crack just so that I get a good bond with the glue. Yeah, that's getting the tape residue off really well.
Yeah, sorry, that's banging on the tripod. Didn't notice that till now. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, it's getting all that residue up. Okay, I got a cotton swab with some acetone on it. I know this acetone's going to wreck the finish, but I I need to get some acetone in there. Okay, it's time for the hole. Let's put the hole right about here. See if the nail fits in there. Of course I'm going to patch that hole. Oh bummer, I gotta go to the next size larger. Won't that anger the music teacher? Perfect. I get upward pressure on that. In order to get enough glue in the in this U-shaped area, I'm going to have to push in on this a little bit just so I could get a lot of glue in there because I want to get a good bond. But I want don't want to press in, press in too hard where I'm going to knock this chip all the way in. That'll just make the repair so much more difficult. So. I'm just going to have to work on it, push down a little bit and then pull up a little bit. I might get a little knife in there and just go around the insides. Get a knife out of here. Remember this is an experimental uh, deal here. I don't know what I'm doing. The idea is, you might even be able to pry up on it with the nail too. Whoa, that did it. Well, that's what I wanted. I've got it down a little bit. I'll be able to get a lot of glue in there. Of course that epoxy is a two-part epoxy, so you mix 50% uh, resin with 50% hardener. I just got it at Harbor Freight, I think it was like $2 for a small supply. While you're uh, get the epoxy in there and holding on the nail for pressure pretty much have to hold it for about 10 or 15 minutes even though it says five minutes so you can't answer the phone or have anyone disturb you while that's happening so I just tell people to lay off for a while
And then after that sets, then you can fill in the hole. And that you could probably use wood putty for. Nice, nice. It's ready to spring back in place. I found another issue with this cello while I was looking at it. There's a crack in here. I don't know if you can see that. Right in here on this seam. I could stick my knife in there. See that? What I'm going to do is uh, put some epoxy in there while I'm holding it open with a knife or a screwdriver. Then I'm going to clamp it with this bar clamp. Got this nice bar clamp here. It's got some uh, plastic padded jaws which will protect the wood. That should uh, help the sound a little bit. Got this hole. I'm about ready to glue it. I've got a vice grips on my nail just to make it easy on my hand so I could pull up while that glue is setting. But I think before I even do that I'm gonna get to work on on this so that way the clamp will hold it and I could be moving the cello around and the clamp will hold it down and then I'll be uh, clamping this chip I'll be pull, clamping that by hand by pulling up on the vice grips so I'll have uh, two things going at once okay the glue is set on this seam take these clamps off Right in there. Yeah, it's nice and tight. But I found another problem. Over here, these little tabs stick out. They were getting bounced around, so I'm going to uh, pry this up with a screwdriver and then slip some epoxy in there with a toothpick. And on the opposite side, has the same problem. So uh, before I get to that uh, major chip over here, I'm just going to do these things. It takes about a half hour for that epoxy to set. Okay, I've glued up around this crack and I am holding upward pressure on these vice grips and downward pressure on the cello. And I've got to do that for about, for about five minutes. It'll set. What it does is it skins over and it starts setting at five minutes, but um, you don't get a really good hard setting for maybe in your till you're in the maybe 15 minute area and the way I check to see how the glue's doing is my mixing uh, scrap paper that I mix the two parts of epoxy on I keep that uh, toothpick in the leftover epoxy and I if I move that toothpick around and the toothpick moves I know it's not ready yet and once that toothpick is uh, will move out of that puddle, then I know it's set up, ready to go. Okay, the epoxy is set on this area. I did put epoxy in around three sides with a toothpick, making sure the toothpick pushed the epoxy down along the edges. And that's set. And I have this hole to contend with. I am going to fill that up with wood putty. But before I do that, the wood putty takes longer to set than epoxy. So uh, this repair has set, and I used some uh, parchment paper. You can use wax paper, it's probably better, but I don't want any epoxy getting onto the uh, ends of the uh, clamp. And it looks like uh, set pretty well. I'm going to flip this over and now work on the other side. I'm going to pry open this this with a knife or a screwdriver. I'm going to push some epoxy in in there with a uh, toothpick, get it in all the way. Then I'm going to clamp this in in a half hour. Then I'll turn it around again and I'll start patching that hole. Okay, I'm ready for the patch repair. If you ever get this wood putty, oh yeah, they put the label on upside down at the factory. I've had this for. Uh, quite a few years and it dries out but if you throw some uh, 
acetone in there and you can mix it up and it get it soft again. You don't have to throw it away when it gets hard. So uh, you don't want to put too much on because then you'll have a lot of sanding to do so just put a minimum amount on. Yeah, that's not a minimal amount. Let's try that again. There must be an art to putting this on, whatever it is, I don't know. If I could read upside down, I could find out how long it takes for this to set. Doesn't say how long it takes to set, but I'll sand it and probably put a second coat down. Okay, we're out in the workshop. I've got a wood block with 150 grit fine sandpaper. I'm going to start sanding on this. Trying to follow the contour of the surface. any small dips in there, I'll just fill that up. And I'll let that dry. Well, it took about uh, 10 minutes for that to dry, I suppose, because it's acetone based. It evaporates pretty quickly. And even when it's in the can, it evaporates pretty quickly. And usually it turns a light color, a tan. It turns from a, a light brown to a light tan when, it's, when it dries. Okay, that looks dry. Let's put another uh, sanding operation on that. This is still that uh, 150 grit fine paper. Got some 400 grit, let's try some of that. Looking good to me. Let's get a towel. <clears throat> Wipe that off. Oops, sorry. 
Now I don't have any stain that will match this. There's only one stain in my shop. I got this uh, 10 year old can of Midwax. Red mahogany. It's a wood finish. Let's try putting some of that on there and see what it looks like. I mean, any color you put on there, it'll probably be better than uh, just that bare wood putty. Wow, that looks pretty dark. Pretty dark. You're not going to believe what was happening here, but I was hammering the cap down on this stain and the bottom of the can is probably corroded. All this stuff is leaking out all over the area. Man, look what it did to my floor. Good thing this happened in the shop. Hey, I figure I might as well seal the surface. I found some of this in the shop. This is some uh, semi-gloss clear wood finish. Even says fast drying. Can't beat that. I'm going to dab a little bit on that on the repair area and hopefully no one will ever notice that this thing has been repaired. Wow, this is a dark color. I probably could have put this right on the... Uh, look at that. That probably would have given a better color than that uh, stain that I used. Anyway, wow, that's going on pretty heavy. How's that? I need to thin that down a little bit. How's that? It's not way too heavy. Oh yeah. Band teacher will never know. <clears throat> well, gonna want all the other kids' instruments done like this. Awesome. I just wiped down the second coat of the clear gloss varnish and I'm gonna call this finished. I think that's about the best I'm going to do on this thing. It's a shame about the match of the uh, stain, but this is just going to be a second jello for practice and uh, it was bought used second hand, so should hold up pretty well. Thanks for watching.